Making money on Tarkov could be really confusing for a lot of new players. This run is going to make you a lot of money very quickly without involving a lot of gunfights. So let's get started. So here we are spawning here at Emicom on Interchange. We're going to make our way up the left-hand ramp. You can go down the right-hand ramp either. We're going to make our way up the left-hand ramp and start making our way into the back of the stores. The big thing with this run is it's all out of the main action. You start off by jumping in the back of Ollie. And we're going to start our route kind of on the left hand side towards the toolkit. This is a great way to earn beginner items for your upgrading your hideout, but also a lot of barter items that you're going to see along this route. Now, a good thing is you tend to avoid a lot of the firefights as a lot of the PMCs, they tend to run along the inner route of interchange to take out killer or to get into a lot better fights. One thing to note on this part right here is you can get the um, metal tubes. This is a great way to upgrade your hideout. And right now they're selling for quite a lot as well. So now we're going to enter the main part of the run. Now here we go before we get started. There's about four cases. There's a grenade case and an ammo case on the right hand side and then weapon cases on the left. But the main route is down the back right here, which is where most of your loot is going to come from. These are a lot of combination of rare items and also a lot of barter items and, uh, and hideout items. And these add up quickly. So we're going to start this run with some of the weapon cases on the left hand side you can get things like attachments uh, full weapons as well and here is a great way where the iskras spawn so a lot of the beginner quests where you have to get iskras you can find them here as well we then have a duffel bag behind this container again this can spawn um quest items such as those striped cigarettes and then we have these two weapon cases over here you have one of them on top of the container which can spawn full weapons just like the rfb and then the second one is just across the way it involves a bit of parkour, but again, this can spawn scopes, attachments, and also full guns as well. So a really good thing to check. Not a lot of people check these as well. So this can be done on either a scav or a PMC, and it's a really good way to get loot. Now then, the left-hand side and the right-hand side of these shelves are where the main items are going to be. These can be things like wrenches, propane tanks, fuel tanks, gas analyzers, and so much more. So you just want to keep an eye on both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of these shelving units. Again, for this run, typical, we haven't really found anything, but I promise you, you can make some serious money over and over again. And the really good thing about this run, though, is it can be done either as a scav or a PMC. Now, if you do do as a PMC, I wouldn't recommend doing a hatchet run. Just throw a backpack on, throw a pistol on. It's better to have a pistol of, of, of some sort of weapon to at least be able to engage with, with scavs down this way than trying to do a hatchet run because all that happens if you do hatchet run you're just going to be hunted so again the shelving units on the right hand side here is another really good place for a lot of quest items and to begin with the more quest items you can get and the more hideout items the better on the right hand side here we have the uh, the power station extract if you've got money you can use the car extract but in this route we're going to go all the way and extract out of railway to give you the full view of how the run feels on a full run Again, this doesn't take long. You can do this in maybe like a 10 minute run, but you can make serious money. So again, make your way through the back of idea. You've got some tool sets and then now we're going to make our way into one of the main buildings where a lot of rare items spawn and computers. So here you see you go through these double doors. Now you've got things like graphics cards that can spawn here, gas analyzers, um, Tetris, loads of PC parts as well. So we're going to see how we get on during this raid. And a lot of beginner quests are things like handing in CPU fans, and these can be found here quite regularly. This can be quite a hot area of the map though, because a lot of players tend to kind of full send towards here early wipe. So if you are doing a PMC, you can either really full send it and try and get in and out quickly, or maybe hold back a bit and see if there's anything towards the end. Now, typical, we find a Tetris whilst doing this run. This never happens when doing a PMC, but typical offline we find it. But again, this just goes to show that you can find some really good loot when doing this run. Then we make our way into the next room and you have a total of three PCs. But there's also one area here on the left hand side above this box. This can spawn rare items as well, such as Tetris, GPUs as well. And this can be missed because it's in quite a dark area of the room. So just be careful when you are coming in this room to so just keep an eye out on this part here as well as looting the PCs. Most of the time, the PCs are generally looted. As I say, there's a total of three PCs and a duffel bag, but the corner area is normally left unlooted, so just keep an eye out. 
Well, the loot run is almost to the end. We have one more weapon box here. Again, for some reason, I always seem to get Iskras out of them. So, again, for the Iskra quest at the beginning, keep an eye out. Uh, and one area here is the middle area to the left-hand side. That's where the majority of the firefights are going to be. That is towards the front of Ollie, where a lot of PMCs are going to be fighting. Now, now we're going to make our way out. The run's pretty much done. You can do the stashes on your way out. Um, I've linked a video above showing you a full stash run. This includes basically staying completely on the outside of Interchange. It involves you not having to go inside at all. You can make some serious good money as well through stashes on this map. It is absolutely fantastic. But now we're just going to make our way out towards um, the railway extraction. I say it, it really involves no gunfights at all. You may run into the occasional PMC or the scav, so just keep an eye out. But again, this takes the matter of 10 minutes and you can get some really, really good loot for your hideouts and also your quests. So there we go. Raid complete. Make a, make a, make a, make a.